Spiders. You either love them or you hate them. In fact, some people are downright terrified of them. Yes, if you have a phobia of these eight-legged fiends, then look away for now. If not, then join us as we explore the world wide web, pun intended, for the world's weirdest spiders. From the giant bird-eating spider to the shiny disco ball spider, these are the 20 spiders that are born only once in a thousand years. Eight Spotted Crab Spider The eight spotted crab spider, a master of disguise belonging to the Platythomyces crew, is found mainly in the regions of Asia and Africa. These little shapeshifters have earned their name for their uncanny ability to mimic crabs, especially with their front legs striking that unmistakable crab pose. Measuring in at just 5 to 10 millimeters, these spiders might be small, but they're artists in the camouflage game. They're like chameleons, blending right in with the flowers they call home. It's all part of their clever strategy. They lay low looking just like a petal or leaf until an unsuspecting insect like bees or butterflies comes along. Then bam, they pounce. Now, here's where it gets even cooler. These spiders can change color over time to match different flowers. Now that's what we call floral fashion. They even steal pigments from their meals to update their wardrobe. Talk about adaptability. Despite their petite size, these eight spotted crab spiders are top tier hunters. They've got the patience of a saint and the stealth of a ninja, making them some of the most effective predators in the spider world. So next time you're smelling the flowers in Asia or Africa, keep an eye out for these little shapeshifters. They might just surprise you. Twig Spider Meet the Twig Spider. This long, thin arachnid is green in color and blends in with its surroundings in the woodlands of Australia, Southeast Asia, and India. This spider hunts by weaving a cunning Y-shaped web that looks like a branch in order to fool its prey. The rare spider measures between 13 to 22 millimeters and stretches out its limbs in a posture known as crypsis to complete its twig transformation. Now, spiders are creepy at the best of times, but when they're actually in disguise as something else, now that's just terrifying. Next time we are out for a walk in the woods, we'll be looking out for these killer twigs. Is nowhere safe? Now, from one master of disguise to another, it's time to move swiftly on to our next spider, who's also got a clever camouflage to help it survive. Scorpion-tailed spider. This is the scorpion-tailed spider, scientifically known as Arachnura higgins. Yep, this arachnid is a real head-turner found mainly down under in parts of Australia. Now, don't let that name fool you. There's no venomous sting here. Instead, it's all about showmanship. When feeling threatened, this spider raises its tail, mimicking a scorpion stinger, giving potential predators second thoughts. Sizing up at a modest 4-6 to six millimeters, these spiders might be small, but they've got serious style. They love hanging out in woodsy spots and gardens, where they weave these intricate orb-shaped webs to snag their dinner. But they've got some web mastery up their sleeves. They can adjust the stickiness of their silk, making sure they reel in a diverse crowd of insects. Now, don't go thinking they're out to get you. Scorpion-tailed spiders are like the peacekeepers of the arachnid world. They're not out to bite you, and even if they do, it's usually rare occurrence. Their menu mainly consists of dainty flying insects like flies and moths. So if you ever find yourself wandering the woods of Australia and spot a spider with a scorpion-esque tail, you're in the presence of a true mimic master. The Cobalt Blue Tarantula This cobalt arachnid is found in the tropical rainforests of Southeast Asia and mainly lives in deep burrows. This iridescent tarantula has a leg span of up to 13 centimeters, making it one of the larger spiders on our list. This colorful critter is sold around the world as a pet, even though its venom is actually pretty harmful to humans, and strong enough to cause severe inflammation and muscle cramps. Its fabulous fur may be quite enticing, but don't cuddle this creature. They are highly aggressive and fast too, making them a fearsome predator. This aesthetically pleasing arachnid lives on a diet of small mice, reptiles, and insects, and usually will only emerge from its burrow to hunt. This elusive creature is a rare sight, which is a shame because they are so cool looking. Number 16. Yellow Sack Spider Let's talk about the Yellow Sack Spider, scientifically known as Kyracanthium. 
It's a small but fairly common critter found in nooks and crannies around the world, including North America. Sizing up to 5 to 10 millimeters, these little fellas are all about finding a cozy spot to call home. You'll spot their silk retreats in places like leaves, building corners, and sometimes even inside houses. They're nocturnal, coming out after dark to do some hunting. Now here's the thing, they've got a bit of a reputation for giving humans a little nip every now and then. While their venom won't have you scaling walls like Spidey, it might leave you with some localized pain and a touch of swelling. It's like a little reminder from nature that even the small guys have some tricks up their sleeves. Or should we say legs? Now, from one unique looking spider to another, let's move on to our next flashy critter, shall we? Ladybird Spider Let's take a peek into the world of the Ladybird Spider, scientifically known as the Eresus sandaliatus. This critter is a rare gem found in parts of Europe, including the UK. These little critters are like the fashionistas of the spider world. With the males flaunting striking red and orange markings on their sleek black abdomens, giving them a ladybird vibe, hence the catchy name. Meanwhile, the ladies are more understated, with a mostly black body with just a touch of red. These spiders aren't the high flyers they prefer to keep it grounded, hanging out in the heartlands and moorlands. They're like the spider version of homesteaders, building tubular silk retreats underground. From there, they emerge like secret agents to nab their prey. And speaking of grub, ants are their go-to dish, and they're experts at the sit and wait game. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The ladybird spider has some impressive moves when it comes to love. The males perform a sort of spider dance on the female's web, complete with tapping and vibrating steps. It's like a mini arachnid tango. But watch out fellas, if the lady's not into it, things can take a rather dark turn. And she might just go full on cannibalistic. Now that's a high stakes date night. Golden Wheel Spider The wheel spider or golden wheel spider is a true superstar of the Namib Desert in southern Africa. This spidey sensation is often confused with its close cousin, Leucorchestris arenicola both sharing the same common name and calling the Namib Desert home. But here's where the wheel spider truly shines. When faced with parasitic prompilid wasps, it pulls off a daring escape act that puts Olympic gymnasts to shame. It flips into its side and cartwheels down the sandy dunes at an astonishing speed of up to 44 turns per second. Just look at this thing. Sizing up to about 20 millimeters, males and females of this species are on equal footing. Forget about webs though, this nocturnal hunter is all about hitting the sands at night on the prowl for insects and other tiny creatures. While its bite packs a mildly venomous punch, it's not considered a threat to us humans. Now when it comes to defense, the spider's got a trick up its sleeve. It digs itself a silk-lined burrow that can plunge up to 40 to 50 centimeters into the ground. And get this, during this construction project it shifts a mind-boggling 10 liters of sand, a whopping 80,000 times its own weight. Talk about some serious heavy lifting. But unfortunately, in the early stages of burrow building, it's vulnerable to those sneaky pompolid wasps. If one comes knocking, the wheel spider won't hesitate to hit its top speed of 1 meter per second to make a break for it, especially if it's on a sloped dune. So there you have it, a spider that's not just a speedy acrobat, but a master builder too. Portia Spider Are you ready for a creepy cannibal creature? Yep, that's right, this species feeds on other spiders. This behavior known as Araniophagy is not only terrifying, but it's also kind of genius. Yep, these super intelligent spiders have all kinds of sinister methods that they use to hunt other spiders and studies have even shown that they are capable of problem solving that is normally only seen in much larger animals. Found all over the world from Africa to Australia, India, and Vietnam, this tiny spider only reaches about 5 to 10 millimeters in length and has a brain smaller than the size of a pin, yet it still displays shocking signs of intelligence. For example, the Porsche spider is capable of planning ahead and even improvising attacks using trial and error against unfamiliar prey. Not only that, but they remember their successful hunting methods for next time. Porsche spiders will make long detours to find the best attack angle against their prey, sometimes traveling for hours to launch the perfect attack. But their most famous hunting method involves outsmarting their fellow spiders in their own webs. 
This intelligent, venomous arachnid will cause vibrations in the web that mimic the struggle of a trapped insect, luring the other spider back to the web. They've even been spotted timing their approach with the breeze in order to hide the sound of their footsteps. As you can imagine, Portia is known as the most intelligent spider in the world. Goliath Bird Eater This gigantic eight-legged freak is a bird eater. Well, not strictly speaking, but it looks pretty badass, right? Yes, it's true that this tarantula is big enough to snare and eat a bird, but it actually mostly feasts on insects, rodents, and frogs. The Goliath bird eater spider doesn't weave webs to ensnare its prey, as it has a far worse method of hunting. This terrifying tarantula pounces on its prey, chomping down on their victim with needle-like fangs and injecting them with deadly neurotoxins. Because who needs webs when you are the biggest spider in the world, right? Once the Goliath has dragged the corpse back to its burrow, it then liquefies the prey's inside so it can suck it dry. How appetizing. This 6 ounce 12 inch arachnid has certainly earned its title of king of the spiders, as well as a very sinister way of preparing its dinner. The Goliath bird eater also has a strange defense mechanism for anything brave or stupid enough to attack it. The spider is covered in harpoon-like hairs tipped with stinging barbs, and if anything comes too close, it will rub its legs together to unleash a flurry of hairy ammo on its attacker. Yup, you really won't want to mess with this massive arachnid. It might be the last thing you ever do. Camel Spider Let's dive into the mysterious world of the camel spider, or as some people call it, the solifuge or wind scorpion. But here's the thing, these critters are a bit of an arachnid imposter. You see, they might have spider in their name, but they're not the real deal. They're part of the Solfilige squad, and can be found crawling around in arid spots worldwide from Asia and Africa to parts of the Americas. And these bad boys look like they mean business. They've got large jaws and long segmented bodies that can reach up to 15 centimeters in length. Impressive, right? But here's the catch, despite their intimidating appearance, they're not very venomous at all. In other words, they are not a threat to us humans. But what really makes the camel spider stand out is their need for speed. These dudes are the Usain Bolts of the arachnid world. They use their powerful jaws to catch a buffet of insects, small rodents, and other creepy crawlies. Not only that, but their digestive juices are their secret weapon, allowing them to chow down on prey that is much larger than themselves. So watch out critters, the camel spider is on the prowl, and everyone's a target. Hercules Baboon Spider They are the heavyweights of the spider world, it's the Hercules Baboon Spider, or as they are scientifically known, Ceratogyrus darlingi. These bad boys hail from the wilds of southern Africa, and let us tell you, they are no wallflowers. First off, size matters for these arachnids. The ladies can stretch out to a whopping 20 centimeters, making them some of Africa's biggest spiders. They've got rugged, hair-covered bodies and horn-like projections on their heads that give them a truly terrifying look. And guess what? The dudes are even flashier with those horns, using them to strut their stuff in the mating and territorial game. Now don't go getting all freaked out about their intimidating appearance. Despite their tough exterior, these Hercules baboon spiders are more bark than bite. Their venom isn't a huge threat to us humans, but those fangs can still deliver a painful reminder to keep your distance. Let's face it, nobody wants to be bitten by a Hercules baboon spider. The Mirror Spider Get your dancing shoes on because there's a disco in the jungle. This shiny sequined spider is found in Australia and goes by the official name of Thuatigia argentio punctata. This tiny spider glimmers like a mini disco ball and measures in at about 3 millimeters. Its silvery visage is actually a result of the spider's digestion, and the mirrors are made of guanine, a byproduct of excretion. Pretty disgusting, but hey, it looks good, right? The sparkling sequins are actually a pretty effective camouflage in the spider's tropical environment, as its mirrored abdomen looks like a glistening raindrop on top of a leaf in the forest. While little is known about this elusive species of spider, there is no denying the spider is one of the best looking arachnids in the world. Mirror mirror on the wall, is the spider the most attractive arachnid of them all? Diving Bell Spider 
If spiders on land freaked you out, we've got some bad news for you. The spider can swim. Yep, the diving bell spider has found a way to live in lakes and ponds too. The diving bell spider is an aquatic arachnid who protects itself with an air bubble whilst venturing underwater. This may look pretty weird, but it's also super smart. The bubbles on their heads act as gills, taking in oxygen under the water. Some of these amazing air chambers shield just the head and legs of the spider, while others can encapsulate the spider's whole body. Diving bell spiders build these ingenious bubbles by spinning a dome-shaped web between two underwater plants and then rising to the water's surface to trap air bubbles with the fine hair on their legs. They then carry the bubbles down into the dome, eventually gathering enough to build one big mega bubble that they can use as a diving helmet. This swimming spider mainly hunts aquatic insects and small crustaceans. They're found throughout mainland Europe and northern Asia, in ponds, lakes, and marshes. Well, we never knew that spiders could scuba dive. Pretty awesome, right? Now, from a spider with a serious skill to an arachnid with model good looks, let's move right on to our next creepy crawly, Peacock Spider. This vibrant, multicolored spider is named after a peacock, and we can totally see why. That's right, this confident arachnid is famous for its resemblance to the animal kingdom's most glorious bird. The rear of this funky spider bears similar bright markings to the feather of a peacock, earning its nickname. This tiny spider is known for its flashy dancing. Shaking its stuff is all part of its mating routine, and the male of the Maratha species shows off its colors with pride, even stopping to drum the ground and the female's head too. This weird dance moves serves a purpose, however, as peacock spiders don't have ears on their head like us but instead they hear by picking up vibrations in their many legs. However, this dance-off can end in a pretty vicious showdown. These brave little males must dance for their lives, as the female spiders have been known to eat their potential mates, especially the ones whose dance moves didn't impress them much. Now that's one nightclub we never want to visit. Damn nature, you scary. Pikachu Spider this rare little spider has a striking resemblance to one of the most beloved Pokemon characters ever, Pikachu. Also known as the arrow-shaped Microthena, it has a bright yellow posterior with black-tipped horns, black spots, and even red markings that look like Pikachu's cute face. The Microthena spider may look like a trading card, but it was photographed by National Geographic explorer Jonathan Colby in the jungles of Honduras. In fact, this particular spider can even be spotted in the US and across North America. This little arachnid has captured the attention of experts across the world, and we can understand why. It's not every day you see a real-life Pokemon. While the spider may not be as lovable as Pikachu, it definitely is captivating to look at. Microthena, I choose you. Have you ever seen a more adorable spider? Let us know in the comments section below. Happy Face Spider this eight-legged creature is less of a foe and more of a friend. That's right, the happy face spider is unlike any spider you might have seen before. Just look at the smiling face. Now, the big smile is not actually the spider's head, but its abdomen. And the emoji-style pattern is believed to scare away any hungry bird seeking a spider snack. The smiley spider is technically known as Theridion gralator and can only be found in specialized habitats on the islands of Hawaii, making them extremely rare. The happy face spider measures a, a tiny 5 mm and has long spindly legs, with each individual spider bearing a one-of-a-kind pattern on its body. This might just be the spider that will cure you of your fear of arachnids. How could anyone be scared of this friendly little fella? Spiny Orb Weaver Spider the spiny orb spider goes by the scientific name of Gasterna cantha, and they've gotten to be one of the strangest looking spiders we've ever laid eyes on. These spiky spiders deter predators from attacking them using their warning colors and sharp spines. These weird arachnids are so named for the large orb-shaped webs that they weave between shrubs or the branches of trees, and they mostly feed on mosquitoes, flies, and moths. They've even been known to spin a new web every single night just to keep their structures in tip-top condition. While they may look pretty intimidating, they are not dangerous to humans, and in fact are quite helpful in getting rid of garden pests. 
These critters can be found in the southern states of the U.S., as well as Central America, Jamaica, and Cuba. Yep, keep your eyes peeled for this bizarre yet useful garden spider. The Longhorned Orb Weaver Get ready to meet the rock stars of the spider world, the Longhorned Orb Weavers, scientifically known as Macarantha arcuata. These creepy crawlies can be found strutting their stuff in parts of Asia like Thailand, Indonesia, and Malaysia. Now, what sets them apart from the average Joe spider? It's all about that bling, baby. These guys rock an elongated abdomen and some seriously impressive spines. It's like they're wearing nature's studded leather jacket. But the real showstoppers are their long horn-like projections sprouting from their backsides. Yep, they've got horns where the sun don't shine. And believe it or not, those spines aren't just for show. They're like the spider's own personal bodyguards, keeping predators at bay. Plus, they double as the ultimate camouflage, blending right in with plant parts. Now, when it comes to web design, these spiders are the real deal. They whip up massive orb-shaped traps, strategically positioned in the greenery, just waiting for unsuspecting flying insects to come along. Yep, these spiders are real engineers. Spiders don't get much cooler than this. Fake Building Spider The Amazon rainforest is home to a spider species that's nothing short of a tiny genius. These eight-legged marvels, believed to be from the Cyclosa genus, have pulled off the ultimate deception deep in the Peruvian Amazon. They're not just content with spinning ordinary webs. Oh no, these crafty arachnids take it up a notch. They construct larger-than-life decoy spiders within their webs, and they even play puppeteer with them. Yup, you heard that right. They give their decoys a little wiggle, making them seem alive and kicking. Now, these decoys aren't some hasty, half-baked replica. These spiders are serious artists. They collect all sorts of debris, from plant matter to the remains of their prey, and craft decoys about four times their size. It's like an Amazonian version of Spider's Got Talent. The discovery of these masterminds came courtesy of scientists Jeff Creamer and Phil Torres, who stumbled upon this mind-boggling phenomenon at the Tambopata Research Center last December. And the purpose behind this spiderly subterfuge? Survival, of course. These cunning Cyclosa spiders make their web decorations so convincing that potential predators like pesky paper wasps end up attacking the faux spider instead of the real deal. Now that's pretty crafty. Chinese Hourglass Spider This super rare spider is not often spotted in the wild. After being rediscovered in 2000, this strange spider has only been sighted a handful of times. When a Chinese farmer found the creepy crawly on his property, he at first mistook it for a long, buried antique, due to its odd disc-like body. Looking at this spider, you can see why it's known as the hourglass spider. The unusual arachnid goes by the scientific name Cyclocosmia, and is part of the trapdoor family, meaning it mainly lives under the ground, only emerging to feed. Which might explain why we don't often catch a glimpse of them. The females of the species can reach up to 28 millimeters, and they use their large abdominal discs to block the entrance of their burrows when they are threatened. Move out of the way, because the Chinese hourglass spider is coming through.